Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Spider-Man, I know you work with the team. Got it. What should I cook? Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals, and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. They must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical drift and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's it. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Spider-Man, I know you work with the team. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make him cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. Hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. I guess I can stop by just for a minute. Officers are pursuing a box truck believed to be carrying a bomb. Officers needed on scene in Clinton. Demons in the front two cars. These bombs. Here's your stuff. Bomb in that truck. Gotta get it away from civilians. These demons must have crazy insurance premiums.
leash is leading me on a chase, but that's what's gonna help me find her. By feeding all the past locations into an algorithm, I can narrow down her likely point of origin. I was too late to stop her here, but one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. Sorry guys, kinda gotta see something, do something code. Pigeon target acquired. Don't run, I won't hurt you. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth, to finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. 
Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Huh. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. 